Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today I'm going to tell you my five tips, advice, photography tips uh, for March 2022. Uh, my face and my heart is uh, sad because of the situation in Ukraine. I really hope uh, this is going to be uh, solved uh, urgently and peace will be back. I really uh, wish uh, there will be uh, not too many victims on both sides. I said not too many, I, I wish it was none, but there are already many people who are victims of this situation. So uh, I hope peace will be back really, really soon. So in the description, I've indicated uh, the link to Doctors Without Borders and also ACNOR. I hope uh, you can make a donation to help uh, everyone there. Uh, I'm not getting into uh, who is right, who is wrong. It's, I just want peace, okay? And uh, these doctors say, want the same thing. They will help kids. They will help people who are injured. And uh, regardless of what side they are, okay? The important is uh, that human being are, are in great trouble and they need help. So please, if you can, make a donation. Okay, so let's start. So this month, the tips are all around counting. Okay, so the first tip is when people are blinking a lot like this, okay? Uh, it's very hard to get the picture at the right moment, so you have no other choice than counting for them, okay? One, two, three, photo. One, two, three, photo. So they concentrate a bit more. And if you make a, several people, a party of people, you'll see that if you have two of these uh, typical blinkers, uh, one will uh, blink when the other one does not, and then the other way around. If you count for all of them, then it's, it's better. So ju just do it this way, that helps a lot. Tip number two. I don't know if you still have at home or where you work uh, these light tubes, uh, the old-fashioned, but they still exist, these tubes. Okay, well, you'll notice that uh, when you make a picture, sometimes you get funny colors or uh, strange uh, lighting. Uh, this is tube that uh, they actually uh, blink like this a lot, and uh, you actually uh, can see it with your eyes. In the camera, it's even worse. Okay, so to avoid that, uh, it depends if you're in an area with uh, an electricity with 60 hertz or 50 hertz uh, frequency. So if you're on 50 hertz, like in Europe, it helps if you actually shoot uh, with a, f a speed that is uh, a multiply of uh, 50, like uh, 50, uh, 1 50th of a second, 100th of a second, 150th of a second. If you're in the US, for example, or Canada or South America or Central America, where they have 60 hertz, then get a speed that is multiply of 60, which is the frequency, electricity frequency. That helps a lot, okay? Tip number three. When you go to the seaside and you want to make a picture of the waves, you get there, you see a massive wave, but your camera is not ready or you are not ready, and then you want to catch the following wave, okay? But unfortunately, the following waves is not that big. Well, uh, there is a frequency also with waves, so start counting when you see a big one count all the waves until you get another big one normally it's around seven but not always okay i'm not sure so uh just count to be ready uh to be ready for the big the next big one okay so because this is always the same if it's a six frequency six frequency well six and seven and seven so you you are ready to to get the right wave okay so just just start counting waves tip number four also counting when you make a wedding uh, reportage, okay, uh, in the party, you have a de uh, DJ, a disc jockey, and then also you have a light jockey, okay? And uh, you'll notice that lights uh, change colors, and you have blue, red, green, yellow, white, okay? And uh, it's also a frequency. So it doesn't really matter if you are yeah, there like dancing, but if you make pictures, you will notice that blue color gives a lot more noise to your pictures. So it's uh, really better not to take picture when it's full, uh, blue. So uh, although it follows the rhythm of the, 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 the song, still the frequency and the change of colors is uh, made by the light jockey who actually uh, programmed it. So. Uh, count to know when you will get some yellow and when you will get some white which are the best best colors for that when you get some red some blue and try to avoid making too many pictures when it's blue okay so uh also when i've uh, made weddings uh, and there is this situation a lot more blue than normal sometimes some did jockey a light jockey love blue color 
well, I speak to him and I say, uh, do you mind uh, getting a bit less blue? So instead of having uh, four blue for one white, he gets me like two blues or three blues for two whites, okay? So uh, this way, I've got more chances to get pictures with less noise because of the, the blue color, okay? When you start counting the light changes, you will notice that uh, you get into the rhythm and you actually make the picture exactly at the right time. Tip number five, let's speak about uh, military uh, walk or uh, fashion walk. When they actually go, you'll see they also have a rhythm and it's important that you count because uh, if you want to have some kind of consistency in your reportage, you don't want like sometimes they have foot in the air, another time on the floor, another time midway. It's better to count and to decide what is the look you like and shoot just exactly at that right moment. So all your picture will have uh, 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 like some character that correspond to the, actually the march they're doing. Same thing with fashion. When they go on the catwalk, same thing. You'll see they have a rhythm. And uh, if you uh, tune yourself and synchronize yourself with this rhythm, you will have consistency in your uh, pictures uh, for the reportage of this fashion show, okay? Well, that's it. Just counting, counting and counting. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching it. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So button down here is a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, erichibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. I also leave you links of my game on Amazon, links to other parts of my YouTube channel, and link to everything I've reviewed by KF Concept and Sandmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.